In this video, we're going to be talking about the weight of the left hand as you put your fingers down on the string. Stick around, you don't want to miss this. Hi there, my name is Eric, I'm a violinist. Thanks so much for coming across this channel. I do a lot of violin how-to tips, product reviews, and vlogs. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notifications for when you get notified when new videos come out. In the previous video of Basics with Eric, we talked about the finger placement, and if you haven't gotten to that video yet, I'm gonna provide a link right up here, so that way you can watch that video, pause this video, watch that video, and then come back here. So now that we've established how to place our finger on the string, it's all about how much weight do we put on the finger to the string. And notice how I use the word weight as opposed to pressure. It's the same kind of ideology in the right hand where you don't want to press with any single finger to the bow because that's going to reflect the sound from the string. All in all, you want to make sure that your right hand and your left hand are using the natural weight of your body, of your arms, to provide the sound, the most natural and the most organic sound that you can possibly make. The question is, how do you do it? And that's what this video is all about. I'm going to teach you exactly what you need to look for and what you need to do to provide that extra weight on the string. So now you have your violin up on your shoulder and essentially you, ha you understand more or less how to put the finger down on the string. If you're a beginner, then you this is going to be, again, a kind of review. What I usually teach my beginners is that all your fingers need to be round because that gives you more versatility in achieving the right notes and also the, set, the nice quality of sound. Again, the sound doesn't just come from the right hand. It also comes from the left hand. So we have to be careful as to pressing down on the finger. In our effort to stay relaxed, part of this exercise that I'm about to show you is about breath and how you can use your breath and your natural exhale of breath to get the natural weight on the finger. So I'm going to use this part of my arm to help me bring the finger naturally down on the fingerboard and the string. So I'm not staying here and I'm not pressing. I'm using the natural I'm kind of as if it looks like I'm pulling down the violin, but I'm actually, I'm just using the weight from the elbow and the natural weight of my arm to really use that to my advantage. So in this exercise, we're gonna breathe in and then we're gonna breathe out and let everybody kind of drop. And you notice my fingers are still curvy on the left hand. I'm not, I'm not staying stiff. I'm not staying like super tight because Again, we don't want any tension or we need to learn how to release tension every time we play. So again, let's do a quick inhale and a quick exhale. And then see as you exhale, drop your shoulders, drop your arms just enough so that way the, the, the finger touches the string and the finger also touches the fingerboard. That's when you know you've achieved that nice cushion feeling. And just as a reminder, the finger is placed on the left side right here. So the left side of the finger is going to be put on the string and then you're going to naturally bring that finger down as opposed to pressing. So again, we're going to inhale and exhale. And then as we exhale, we drop the shoulders and we kind of just let everything relax. So let's review the two things that I want you to keep in mind when you're thinking about bow weight. Number one, make sure that the finger is placed correctly on the string. Number two, do your best to relax the shoulders and exhale all the tension so that way you're really putting your fingers down by using the weight of the arm as opposed to pressing down. Again, we're doing our best to release tension and I've probably said this maybe like four or five times, probably even more during this video. But you wanna make sure that you're using the fleshy part of your finger, not too much fingertip because you don't, you know, that, that hurts a lot when you're a beginner or even if you're a professional. I mean, there are certain ways to put fingers down and I'll create a separate video at a different time on how, if you use more finger pad or more fingertip, but that's for another video. Again, using the natural weight of your 
body of your arm to really make sure that you're getting a nice sound. Let me demonstrate what that sounds like. So first, I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna press down with my third finger and I'm gonna try to be as relaxed with my bow hand as possible. So that's with my finger tip and you notice that I'm really pressing down. There's a lot of white skin and we want this nice pinky fleshy skin. Now I'm gonna use a natural weight of my arm to provide a more natural sound. So here we go. And that's really it. If you really are aware of the weight of the arms with your body, and you're gonna get a nice, really beautiful sound. By not pressing, you're gonna use a natural weight of your arm to bring the finger down to the fingerboard, so that way you get a nice sound. If you liked this video, and if you like the basics with Eric series, please make sure to share with anyone who might find this useful. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notifications, so that way you get notified when new videos come out. In the next video, we're going to be incorporating the first two ideas and incorporating that into a nice healthy vibrato. So stick around to the next video.